Hi, this is Sally from eLearning, and I'm going to demonstrate how to add a scheduler appointment to your Canvas course calendar. So this is a useful tool if you want students to be able to sign up for appointments with you on their Canvas calendar. This could be appointments for advising, could be office hours, or any other reason that you might need to make an appointment with a student. So the first thing you do is you'll want to open your calendar. So you'll select calendar from your Canvas global navigation menu. And then find the day that you want to set up the appointments. We'll click on that square. Um, in the edit event pop-up, you'll want to select the appointment group tab. Give the, the appointment a name um, and a location. put your office. You could, um, if, if you're going to be doing a Zoom appointment, you could also indicate there. And here you'll want to select the calendar. So by what it means by calendar, this is the calendar for the course that you're creating the appointments for. So you want to go ahead and check that and select done. Here you can include some details about the about the appointments that the students will see and up here you'll want to select the date and the time range so this is really important so the date is already selected in here for you it's the date that you've um, of the calendar square that you clicked in and the time range is the entire time that you're going to be open for appointments. So let's say 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock. And if you want you can add a separate date and time frame here. I'm just going to go ahead and leave this time frame for um, the 8th. So the next thing you'll want to do is allow the system to break up that period of time for you into equal slots that students can sign up for. So the default here is 30 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that, but you can change that to however long, 15 minutes, an hour, whatever suits your needs. And once you've selected that time, you'll want to click Go. And you can see how it's automatically broken up these appointments into 30-minute slots. And you have some more options here. You can limit how many people sign up. So if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one appointments, you can just limit it to one. If you are willing to meet with at least, you know, at, at the most, say, five people at a time, you could select five. Um, if you are allowing more than one student to sign up, you can check here to allow students to see who has already signed up for that time. And you can limit how many appointments a student can choose in this group. So once you have everything filled out the way you want to, just go ahead and click Publish. And you can see all of the appointments are here. Um, in this day on your calendar. You can also see that um, the color of these appointments is corresponding with that color for that course on my calendars list. And you'll also want to note that when you are creating this appointment, um, in order to have access to a specific course calendar, you need to make sure that you have that calendar enabled here in the calendars. And all you need to do to enable a calendar is click on the box. Okay, so once you have created these appointments, your students will need to be able to sign up for them. And next I'm going to show you the student's perspective and how it is that they sign up for these appointments. All right, so this is from a student's perspective. A student wants to sign up for an appointment in your calendar. 
they're going to choose calendar on their global navigation menu. And over here, they're going to need to click this Find Appointment button. And when they click Find Appointment, it's going to show them every um, appointment that is available for them to potentially sign up for in any class. So once they select Find Appointment, they're going to need to choose which course. So if they have another instructor who has also made appointments available, that course will be in this drop-down menu. For this student, they only have the one class. So choose the class, they click Submit, and then all of these appointments show up on their calendar. So once students start showing up, um, signing up for the appointments, um, the students will see the ones that are not available will be grayed out, but at this time all of the appointments are available. So they'll just go ahead and choose one that works for them and click on it and then they can just click reserve. They can also add comments to you if they choose. And now they've clicked reserve, you can see that appointment has been grayed out. So now I'm going to go back to the instructor view so you can see what happens once a student has registered for one of your appointments. So now you can see this one appointment has been signed up for. If you click on it, it's going to show you the name of the student who signed up. Um, it's going to give you the opportunity to, to delete or edit the appointment. It's also going to give you an opportunity to send a message to this particular student. All right, so that is how you set up um, schedule or appointment groups in your calendar and how students can sign up for them. If you have any questions, contact eLearning. Thank you. For